In 2011, 56-year-old Hugh McGeough and his 44-year-old wife Jackie McCartney had just returned home from a leisurely weekend retreat at a hotel in Letterkenny County, Donegal. 24 hours later, their son Martin discovered their lifeless bodies at their Craig Avon home. The couple had been fatally shot in a downstairs room which boasted bulletproof windows and doors. Investigations later revealed that they had received an enigmatic phone call around 9pm the day they returned, and Hugh's last phone activity was noted at 11am the following morning, suggesting they may have been deceased for several hours before being found. Due to the reinforced glass and doors of the detached house, no gunshots were heard, and there was no sign of struggle. It appeared that the assailant had been granted entry by the unsuspecting couple before carrying out the attack. Hugh was shot in the back of the head, holding a coffee cup, while Jackie received three gunshot wounds to the face near the kitchen entrance. At that time, McGeo held a notorious reputation in the area, known as a prominent and prolific drug dealer. He gained notoriety in 2004 when he received a nine-year prison sentence for his involvement in the killing of Peter McNally, a 19-year-old who was fatally shot in the head while asleep in a chair at a house in Westacres in 2001. This killing was attributed to a drug war, marking a feud between rival drug factions. In the year preceding his demise, McGeo invested £37,000 with the Lurgan Loyalist for a share in a substantial cannabis shipment destined for Northern Ireland. However, authorities intercepted the shipment, causing McGeo to demand an immediate refund from the Lurgan man. When he refused to pay, McGeo's anger was further stoked, prompting serious threats against him. Concerned for his safety, the Lurgan man reached out to 44-year-old Malcolm McKeon, a local drug dealer known for his involvement in various murders. McKeon's history dates back to the Troubles in the 1970s, where he was affiliated with the Loyalist Volunteer Force, a paramilitary organisation in Northern Ireland. Notably, his brothers were convicted of sectarian killings attributed to the LVF, as they terrorised the region throughout the 1990s. Furthermore, McKeown had his own unsettled matters with McGeo, owing him a £13,000 drug debt. Seizing an opportunity, the Lurgan man offered McKeown £10,000 to eliminate McGeo. In turn, McKeown contacted McGeo's nephew, 31-year-old James Carlyle. Carlyle and McGeo had previously collaborated in the drug trade, but had a falling out over financial matters. Therefore, when McKeown proposed a payment of £5,000, to Carlisle for McGeo's demise, persuasion was hardly necessary. Shortly after the murders of McGeo and his wife, McGeo and Carlisle's involvement became widely acknowledged. In March 2012, they were arrested and collectively accused of the crime, but by 2013 all charges were dropped and they were off the hook. In the following years, McGeo's gang would assert control over the Craig Avon area, situated in North Amar, establishing dominance in the Northern Ireland drug trade. However, despite his significant role, McKeon's violent and erratic behaviour earned him widespread disdain, even among his own associates. Between 2015 and 2016, his gang orchestrated a series of arson attacks targeting police vehicles in efforts to thwart law enforcement's crackdown on their drug operations. Hugh Boyce, McKeon's trusted ally, reportedly set ablaze around 30 cars, causing damage exceeding £1 million. When Boyce, along with his accomplice James Kidd, faced charges for these offences. McKeon, who was also involved in the attacks, sent his foot soldier, convicted murderer James McVeigh to the court as a message to Boyce, warning him against cooperating with authorities and implicating the rest of the gang. Although Kidd and Boyce pleaded guilty, they began to suspect McKeon had set them up. Once named in court as McKeon's number two, the relationship between Boyce and McKeon soon soured, leading to internal discord within McKeon's gang as his own gang members began to turn against him. And with McKeon's notorious reputation for extorting and intimidating other drug dealers, his circle of enemies expanded even more. In March 2016, McKeon's close pal Jim Carlyle was targeted in a drive-by shooting outside a primary school in Craig Avon. Seated in his car while waiting for his child, Carlyle was shot four times. He attempted to exit his vehicle, but collapsed on the road in full view of a school bus carrying frightened children. Wearing a bulletproof vest, Carlyle survived the attempt on his life. Although no arrests were made, nor charges filed in connection with the failed hit, speculations arose suggesting involvement of a group of drug dealers who were done with McKeon's tactics, later referred to as the firm. Nevertheless, McKeon's gang maintained their prominent position in the region until both McKeon and Carlisle were arrested in 2018, following a police chase that ended in a crash. 
prior to their arrest, they had burglarized the house of a 50-year-old Lisbon resident, assaulting him by punching him in the face and binding his hands and feet with cable ties. With McKeon, Carlisle, Boyce and Kidd behind bars, McKeon's 29-year-old enforcer Jamie McVeigh became the gang's main man on the streets of Lurgan. McVeigh, who idolised McKeon, had previously shared a jail cell with McKeon and since then served as his muscle, enforcing McKeon's extortion schemes against reluctant drug dealers. Soon, McVeigh found himself entangled in a series of shotgun assaults orchestrated by McKeon from his prison cell. As he recently became a father, McVeigh's Facebook account reveals the struggles of a criminal attempting to turn his life around for the sake of his newborn child. However, within a short span of time, he transitioned from a devoted new parent to a drugged-up killer. When his child was just a couple of months old, McVeigh embarked on a drug-fueled spree, resulting in the murder of Paul Smith in Lisbon. Smith, a 50-year-old drug dealer, had refused to comply with McKeon's extortion demands. During the attack, McVeigh and his accomplice James Holmes stole £80,000 worth of cocaine and cash, fatally shooting Smith in the chest while he was seated on the sofa. Only four days later, McVeigh and Holmes made their move at a house in Lisbon where they threatened the homeowner and discharged shots into the bedroom window. Fortunately, neither the couple nor their nine-year-old daughter sustained injuries during the assault. Forensic analysis of the shotgun residue retrieved from Paul Smith's chest was found to match the residue recovered from the scene of the shooting in Lisbon. Shortly after the incident, McVeigh and Holmes were formally charged with the murder of Paul Smith and the attempted murder of the family. Subsequently, McVeigh was sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum term of 18 years, while Holmes received a 13-year sentence. Then, in the summer of 2019, the firm, the secretive gang linked to the botched hit on Jim Carlisle in 2016, received reports from their drug dealers that Malcolm McKeon, while incarcerated, had issued orders for them to pay him protection fees for conducting drug sales within his territory. However, unlike other dealers who could easily be coerced by McKeon, the firm was a well-organised and armed group unwilling to yield to such demands. Consequently, in early August 2019, two armed members of the firm wearing pig face masks appeared at McKeon's home in Waringstown. Surveillance cameras captured the men walking up to McKeon's front door, although McKeon himself was still in jail at the time. Nonetheless, a week later, McKeon was granted bail on charges stemming from the aggravated burglary incident in Lisbon in 2018, which he was involved in alongside Jim Carlisle. On the evening of Monday, August 19th, 2019, Malcolm McKeon entered a service station located less than half a mile from his home in Waringstown at 7.18pm. Within a minute, he was observed exiting the shop and returning to his car parked beside the building. It was at this moment that two armed individuals, affiliated with the firm, emerged from behind the service station and fired multiple shots into the driver's side of McKeon's vehicle, striking him six times and causing instantaneous death. Subsequently, a blue Volkswagen Passat was observed leaving the service station shortly afterward, and approximately ten minutes later, the Passat was discovered ablaze within Lurgan's Mournview estate, a neighbourhood where the firm had experienced significant expansion in recent years. Four years later, McKeon's partner in crime, James Carlisle, died in prison. That was it for today's video. What are your thoughts on today's topic? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see our next videos.